Close the garage door there. Yeah. Uh, Does it have a sensor when something is there? It does. It has two different kinds of sensors. One sensor, if something was like a child were laying down, mm -hmm. it would feel the force of something there mm -hmm. and go back up. Okay. Or a car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's more likely the car not pulling in the way. Can you see the paint here? The You want to know about the second sensor on the garage door opener? Okay. So you see down below those two sensors on each side? Mm -hmm. Those are for also for safety. If a child were there, it would sense something in the opening where it's going to come down mm -hmm. and it would stop. So sometimes also people bump these trash cans, boxes, and if they misalign the sensors, the door won't close. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll show you how to tell if it's a line. This light is always orange. Even if something were blocking it, it's orange. Mm -hmm. But this light here, the green light, is the relay. Mm -hmm. When something is blocked, it will go out. Or mm -hmm. it'll be dim or flashing if, if something is barely or if it's misaligned. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter sometimes mm -hmm. of aligning it till you get a solid bright green light. And then tighten it up. Okay. All right. Next one, the gas. So, this, every one of your gas heating appliances, dryer, stove, heater in the attic, always is going to have a shut off for that appliance. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to shut gas off for the whole house, and this is for all homes, you go to the gas meter, which is in the gas room in the rear of the building. Okay, so before you go, I'd like to show you your three meters, your gas meter, your water meter, and the electric meter and the electric one, okay? So tankless water heater here, this is what I said is recommended to be able to have it flushed out once per year, okay? Mm -hmm. Once per year? Once per year. So you there can, are like a, a company that flushes flush machines? Most local plumbing companies you can contact, like Matthews Plumbing, Plumbing by Kirk, or John Murray plumbing, you can give them a call, you can get estimates for it, uh, and then they can come and flush it out. You could also, at the same time when they come, have them switch out the inside cartridge mm -hmm. of the scale cutter. This is not a filter. This scale cutter has an additive which puts something in the water to decrease the hard water. So it helps. So when you get a new cartridge, here's the replacement cartridge number. It can be ordered on Amazon, okay? The inside of the cartridge is what is changed. And visually, because the housing is clear, you can see when it's full, and you can see when it starts to deplete over time. Usually a family of five might have to be changed every year also. So if you order it in advance, like at the six month mark or so, and when the plumber does it, you can just ask them to change it out, swap it out at the same time. Mm -hmm. So everything has to be turned off. True. If they're changing the change filter, filter. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, going to yeah. shut water to the water here. Uh -huh. Close everything. Correct. Yeah. Otherwise, the water's going to come shooting out if you don't shut close, the water. Close, close. Close the filter. And yeah. why are you thinking of doing that yourself? <laughs> no, just let us think. If you were, yeah. I, I would say, if you were, I'd say you shut the water here. Yeah, shut sure. And you yeah. shut the water here, too. But technically, I gotta hit the weight room. Oh. <laughs> if, you yeah, should, yeah. if you were to make this closed and it has arrows that shows you which way is closed, which way is open, then the only water that's gonna come out is just the water that's right here in these pipes, not the whole house full of water backing up. I'll open this back up. Okay. You don't have to shut the gas though. <laughs> Tankless water heaters need electricity to make hot water. No electricity, no hot water. Mm -hmm. And I explain this because if you lose hot water, the first thing I want you to look for is the GFI outlet. So this is plugged into an outlet, which downstream is connected to an outlet with the reset button. Mm -hmm. Same as your kitchen, it has these. This is the only one that's connected to the garage, though. But
but your kitchen has the same idea of outlets. Your bathroom, too. So you just have to be sad about the things that That's it. So that's why you have to go for two. Give you a Hopefully, it's coming. Don't do that. <laughs> but it's special. Well, maybe have visitors like you know, maybe, maybe. I hope not. What kind of visitors are you going to system is a shared system throughout the entire building. If somebody had a fire and the fire sprinkler system was activated, the fire department would be deployed and they would shut water down mm -hmm. and the fire sprinkler system wouldn't be safe to do so. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open up the garage door for this. This is not air conditioned, right? No, no, not the garage. No. Unless you open it. No? Parallel of us. So your garage door opener has a battery backup. That's mm -hmm. good. If Edison has a um, power blackout mm -hmm. and you come home and didn't know it, when you press your garage door opener, it's going to open. It's going to open half the speed if it's on the backup battery. But it'll open. Mm -hmm. If the backup battery is drained because maybe the power was out for a while, this is the way to release it. To pull the red cord. Everybody got that there? Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't tell you how many people freak out and text me in a power outage. I gotta go to work. How do I leave? And I can't respond to them in time. Mm -hmm. you pull this, you can open and close it manually to be able to go. Oh, okay. okay. Are we, are we allowed to uh, wash the car here or not? Yeah. Is yeah. it okay? So where will the, will the water drain? Yeah. yeah. So, water comes down here in the V-ditch. One side of the alleyway always has the V-ditch. And it will drain down and then go down the street until it hits the rain gutter. Oh. So you see, this is where your water meter is. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go look at the gas meter and go look at the electric meter too in the house. But while we're out here and we're taking a look at a few things, let's see some pipes coming out of the back of the house here. This elbow, a big pipe. Okay. 